Are you looking to move to Philomath and aren't quite sure what there is to do in the area? Today we're going to cover five things to do in Philomath. I grew up in Philomath and it's a great central location if you're looking to get towards bigger cities, the coast, even the mountains. It's got a total population of around 5,700 people and it's just to the west of Corvallis. Home of the Warriors, Philomath has a great reputation for both athletic and academic excellence. It definitely goes along with the actual meaning of Philomath, which is love of learning. So let's go ahead and get into it. Here's five things to do in Philomath. Number one is outdoor exploration. You can take advantage of our natural surroundings by just going on a lot of hikes. We've got great parks. We also have different uh, nature areas. Both Bald Hill and Fitton Green are nearby, so you have great options for biking, walking, hiking, uh, even bird watching. You can also visit Mary's River Parks for both its uh, picnicking. Uh, we also have a disc golf course there, and it's right along the Mary's River, so you can go down there and uh, check out the river. There's even more locations just outside of town if you're willing to drive a little bit. There's a Bazell Memorial Forest, also have Alsea Falls. We've also, of course, got Mary's Peak. Once you get in the town, you're going to be able to see it to the west. It's going to be the tallest point in the entire coastal range. I'm going to talk real quick about two of the parks in Philomath. You have, like I just talked about, Mary's River Park, and you also have the City Park. The City Park is really awesome now. Uh, they just redid the little sitting area. It has a nice covered area, a uh, little place for events. It has two different areas for playgrounds. It has a different little softball field area, also has the skate park and a workout area. Mary's River Park, like I just talked about, has a nice covered area for lunch. It has a great playground, has uh, restrooms, it has a very nice disc golf course, and of course the Mary's River runs uh, on the southern side of it, so you have a nice little trail system that can take you um, to the river, and you can just check that out. The second thing to do is wine tasting. Philomath is located in the heart of the Oregon wine country, and there's definitely a lot of vineyards and wineries in our surrounding areas. You can go on different wine tasting tours throughout the area. A lot of these wineries do have um, tasting rooms. You can also learn about the winemaking process. One of these is the Compton Family Wines. On the western part of Philomath, they have their own building. Heading just outside of town, there's several great wineries. Harris Bridge, Cardwell Hill, and Loomis Wines are three examples of this. The third thing to do in Philomath is to go to our Frolic and Rodeo. If you happen to be in Philomath during this time, it's our biggest event throughout the year. We, of course, have the rodeo, live music, a carnival, and different events. It also has a great fireworks show. This year, I actually did an aerial view with my drone of the fireworks show, and you can go ahead and find that in my videos. The rodeo attracts competitors from all over. We also get spectators from all over as well. Fourth thing to do is to visit the Philomath Museum, which is also the Benton County Museum. You can visit it to learn about the city's heritage and also our long history. It'll have different exhibits and artifacts that go along with the early settlers, the industries, and the cultural developments in the area. Admissions free, but donations are welcome. It used to be Philomath College when it was built in 1867. So in the area, the Mary's River Settlement actually built the school and then built everything around it, which is kind of different from what most places do, where you're usually going to have a town, then build a school, and uh, they named it Philomath, which is, of course, like I said earlier, love of learning. Fifth thing to do in Philomath is to enjoy our downtown eateries and our community events. We have some great restaurants in town right now. We have things like Vinwood Tap House, Eats and Treats, Dizzy Hen, The Woodsman, uh, Dirt Road Brewing, and of course, La Roquita. We also have some really great community events throughout the entire year. We have things like the Farmer's Market, Music in the Park, we have Sip and Stroll, Salmon and Jazz Festival, just to name a few. Downtown's changed a lot over the last 15 years, and we're actually having a rejuvenation project happening right now, so everything's just going to get better. That 15 years ago, ODOT changed the way that um, you can come in and out of town. We lost a lot of businesses, but we're seeing a lot of businesses start up right now, um, so I'm, I'm pretty hopeful. I'm going to give you one quick extra, which is going to be going to visit Oregon State University. Philomath is located just a few miles from OSU campus, located in Corvallis. You can take a short drive over to OSU campus and explore its many buildings and activities. With it being a D1 college, there's always activities going on. There's different sporting events you can go to, as well as you can catch a live show at the LaSalle Stewart Center. Now remember, some of these activities might not be available during what kind of season it is outside, um, but a lot of these you can do year-round. With our close proximity to Albany and Corvallis, you're going to have different options heading that way for both shopping, eating, and other activities. So there it is. There's five different things you can do in Philomath. Again, I'm Tower Thomas with EXP Realty, and I was raised in Philomath, so I know the area well. If you have any kind of questions about Philomath or other things you can do in the area, reach out and I'll be glad to discuss this with you. I do videos on the Willamette Valley, primarily the mid Willamette Valley. So if you're looking to buy, sell, invest in this great area, go ahead and reach out. I'll be glad to be your local resource for all your real estate needs. And if you have any kind of requests for information or perhaps a video you would like to see done, go ahead and let me know what that is. I just want to provide good value for you.